Somewhere between 75 and 85% of small businesses will fail in the next three years. The question is, are you detecting warning signs in your business to make sure that you are able to prevent failure? That's an important question, isn't it? Think about it. Running a small business is like being on a big ocean out there, isn't it? If you're on a small little fishing vessel or a tugboat, your chances of surviving when the strong winds come and the waves start crashing against that small tug is far less than if you are a big secure ocean liner. And let's face it, fishing vessels don't carry compasses and fancy instruments to try and navigate yourself across the ocean, whereas ocean liners have all that equipment. And so the chance of being a small business surviving in that vast ocean is far less than a great big ocean liner. However, there are some positive things about a small vessel. For one thing, if you notice you're on the wrong direction, it's far easier to navigate and turn around a little tug or a fishing vessel than it is a large ocean liner. And so, what this little message in the DVD is really about is that you need to make sure that you put systems in place regardless of the size of your business. Don't think because you're small, you don't need the same sophisticated equipment to make sure that you running in the right direction. You don't simply just throw in the coal and set the sails and hope that you'll get to your destination. You need to continually be analyzing the direction in which your business is moving. And what we've done is we've looked at research from Europe, from the USA and from South Africa to look at why businesses fail. What are the causes of business failure? And then most importantly, how can we avoid that business failure? And a lot of it boils down to having proper systems in place. Let's face it, it's not how great your product is or how good your system is. We could all make a better burger than McDonald's, isn't that true? But McDonald's, as an example, has a fantastic system in place. And so that's really the essence of success, is to make sure that your business system doesn't have gaps in it that allow for human error. Take, for instance, the simple process of quoting. When you quote, are you pulling in your prices from your suppliers, making sure that that quote is 100% accurate? Do you manage that quote from job cards to procurement to pulling stuff from your stores through requisitions to right down the end of customer invoicing? And when you invoice that customer, will your system tell you if there's still gaps in that system? Perhaps you've only received the delivery note but not a supplier's invoice. So that's really what we're talking about. No matter how small your business is, you can close these gaps to avoid business failure. There's the old adage that prevention is always better than cure. It's far easier to try and put out a fire when those first whips of smoke start to appear than when the building is starting to burn down in its entirety. And so one of the reasons that so many SMEs fail is because they don't have a strategy for preventing failure. And this is what this program is really all about. Is that imagine a situation of a building with smoke detectors. When that first wisp of smoke appears, the sprinkler set in and the fire is quelled. Many entrepreneurs will tell you, but I've got a business management system. I've got an accounting system. Bull dust. An accounting system is an end-of-the-line process. It's the recording of transactions. It's the recording of historical information. It's like trying to draft forward while looking in your rearview mirror. That's not going to help manage your budgets against your actuals as well as predict where your business is going and analyze where problems are creeping in. So don't think that if you've got an accounting system, you've got what we're talking about here. This is something completely different. It's making sure there are no gaps in your business management process, that everything flows completely through a proper cycle without any uh, room for human error. The purpose of having a system where information is measured and analyzed every day is to make management aware of any changes that may occur within the business. And the adage is that you can't manage what you can't measure. If you want to manage your business, you need to be able to measure those critical elements of your business. If you're using an accounting system, what you're doing is recording what has already happened. That is not management.